Thank you. You were right about the view. <laughs> On behalf of all my fellow students, I would like to thank you for attending our graduation ceremony. We are very happy and proud to be here and to share this moment with you all. First of all, I want to uh, take this opportunity to, to thank the tutors who uh, guided us during our individual research periods, the uh, top scientists who passed their knowledge onto us, the colleagues and fellow students who inspired us to take our research to a higher level, and last but not least, our families and friends who have supported us during our studies. Our journey of studying at the Netherlands Institute for Health Sciences started one or two years ago. Until two years ago, the research master health sciences consisted of four different specializations, namely epidemiology, clinical epidemiology, genetic epidemiology, and public health. Now in August 2014, the specialization health economics was added to this list. In short, health economics focuses on the evaluation of costs and effects of health interventions. Speaking also on behalf of my fellow students in the specialization, we are proud to be the first class graduating. Amongst the NIES students, we are only with few, there's just eight of us, and to be part of the almost 80 graduates here today is an honor. As health economics students studying both at the NIES and the Institute of Health Policy and Management at the Erasmus University, we at times felt like in between worlds. In Dutch, we would say we felt like vreemden eenden in the bite, which would translate into somewhat like feeling like strange ducks in the bite. Being the first group of health economics students and being unfamiliar with medical terms and methodology, um, studying at the medicine and epi-oriented NIES was not always easy. While studying, we always kept, always, always kept Google near and we hoped that the exams would not be too filled with medical terms that were new to us. We did not complain, however. We just saw it as an opportunity to widen our economic horizon and we've learned to combine the two. Now we know what myocardial infarctions and CD4 cell counts are, and we know how to model these in a health economic framework. Although the specializations of the NIES programs are different from each other, some things they have in common. For example, all enrolled students survived at least one summer program, multiple exams, and a lot of elective courses. Also, the research master students attended 24 seminars of which all were very interesting, but some were so advanced that they were only understood by some of us. Now, let's just go back to health economics for a while. Um, Oscar Wilde, an Irish writer in the 90th century, once stated that economists know the cost of everything, but know the value of nothing. This may be how people view health economists as well. People may think that we are solely concerned with the cost of healthcare and the reduction of healthcare expenses. People may think that we care more about money than we care about people. We are very happy to contradict this and say that these people are wrong. Yes, we care about money, but only because we care about the sustainability of the healthcare system. Yes, we care about the reduction of cost, but only to generate as much health for the population as possible given our budget constraints. A budget that people may not always realize is still growing each year. In health economics, quality of life and patient preferences are key and were central in most of the research we as health economics students conducted during the past 18 months. To illustrate, we studied patient travel time and costs as a burden related to receiving care we study patient preferences concerning e-health or health care provided by the general practitioner. We studied underlying motives for food choices of people with type 2 diabetes. We developed and validated a tool for the early identification of patients with a major depressive disorder in need of highly specialized care. We measured subjective well-being of adolescents in the mental health care and we studied the cost effectiveness of non-small cell lung cancer treatments in the Netherlands. With our research, we not only aim to contribute to a sustainable healthcare system, but also to improve access to the right type of care and improve the measurement of health outcomes 
that are con um, to enable investments in care that are considered to be very important to society. We, as graduates of NIES, are trained to make substantial contributions to future developments in healthcare. We are proud to have studied at NIES, to have received our education from top scientists from all over the world. Today, we as graduates start a career as a researcher, executive, or advisor in health sciences. We are ready to improve health and healthcare. Thank you.